Hello folks and welcome back to the workshop. We're finally getting a chance to take a break from the Tesla madness. And what I've got for you today uh, is some inverter and Prius running transaxle stuff. So, um, as some of you may, may know, I have uh, a Gen 2 and actually a Gen 3 Prius transaxle. And uh, my idea for those uh, has been to see if I can get them to run with the Hubner inverter. Now to see if we can start providing some low cost solutions uh, for people that want to do conversions and don't exactly have 20 or 30 grand to spend. So let's have a quick look here and I'm going to talk to you guys about what we've got going on on the bench. So what we've got on the floor here is a Gen 2 uh, Toyota Prius transaxle uh, that I purchased from my local breaker's yard uh, for the princely sum of 150 euros. Um, came pretty much as you see it now. I was lucky enough that I was able to get the uh, connection uh, the connection plugs and a bit of loom uh, for the resolver um, so basically this is how the thing came to me uh, this part that I've bolted on the front is just a part of my engine stand because I had it sitting up on one of those while I was uh, kind of doing some um, looking at it mechanically so what we have is we have it connected here to three phase terminals for MG2 are connected up to our uh, cut down ANOVA inverter. Uh, this one here is fitted with a prototype PCB that I designed that basically lets me use the ANOVA power stage, the ANOVA um, IGBT driver, current sensors, all that kind of stuff. Um, so there were one or two mistakes in it but uh, other than that it's working fine. Now this particular inverter here will be installed in the E65 uh, 7 series project driving a plain Jane induction motor. But when I was designing the board I included um, the very cheap parts for Johannes's resolver interface so that I could do some testing on permanent magnet uh, motors and you will have seen a video there a few weeks ago where I ran a BMW i3 motor from this particular inverter so um, our high voltage is being uh, provided from over here we've got a variac which is connected to the 240 volts AC uh, supply uh, it's uh, it's basically set at a hundred percent now so it's just pretty much passed through down in this little box here I've got a tr pretty pretty big transformer uh, that's bringing that down to about 120 volts AC uh, that's fed out of the yellow socket comes over here it's a bit of a crazy situation at the minute goes into a rectifier and is then fed into the DC bus caps so I've got about hundred and fifty volts DC um, on my high voltage bus uh, we're basically punched up the inverters turned on I've got some parameters in there so let me sit down I'll grab my trusty E46 throttle pedal, bring you guys in, and we'll give her some gas. So basically, these are my two drive shaft uh, 
L plugs here, spinning away. You can see as well that the MG1 shaft is spinning in there. Now I don't want to run it too much because uh, chances are there's no oil in this gearbox at the minute um, and I don't want to put oil into it because uh, basically the next part of the plan is, is going to involve taking this guy apart because what I want to do is I want to weld up the plant carrier in the power split device so that we can use both MG1 and MG2 for propelling the vehicle because uh, this is not going to be obviously used with an internal combustion engine again uh, so we'll have no problem doing that also up here on the bench <coughs> you have this little guy that on the surface of it uh, you know looks like a traditional uh, belt driven alternator uh, from a, a normal internal combustion engine vehicle but this is actually the MG1 um, motor generator from a Toyota Estima hybrid um, so you can see here it's got a you know the the, the usual orange uh, cable for high voltage and I've got some uh, <coughs> uh, cables here connected to the resolver um, so as you can see here this is our resolver stator and rotor and the reason I got this was so that it would let me do some experiments here on the bench and I could turn the motor feel how the motor re reacted and certain things like that which was you know kind of impossible uh, within the Prius trans uh, trans axle and this would be a handy little uh, motor as well. Might use it for um, various other projects in the fu future. But uh, one thing <coughs> that you need to be aware of for driving these motors is that the uh, resolver poles do not match the stator poles. Uh, so, for example, this is a this is just a one pole pair uh, resol resolver. So you can see it's just got like you know it's just got basically two lobes, so it's one pole pair. But the actual uh, stator has got uh, two pole pairs. So that's uh, a parameter that we needed to put into the inverter software to allow us to change that. And once we had that sorted, we were able to do some testing. We found a bug or two, uh, but, pre but pretty much now we've got the thing working. Okay, so I figured if we had the Gen 2 working, why not get the Gen 3 working? So we've got here is a Prius Gen 3 trans axle so uh, I think this would have been from cars made from 09 to 16 uh, I was lucky enough again was able to source this within Ireland uh, paid a little bit more money for this one I think it was about 250 euros and I was lucky enough that there was just enough wire left on the resolver plug uh, for me to, to solder to so we're connected to MG2 again you can see the MG1 resolver uh, plug has a little bit of wire left on it so that's good um, so we're connected here with our three phase again coming from the inverter into the MG2 uh, stator connections um, now unfortunately with this gearbox I don't have any um, axle stubs and uh, gen 2 don't fit so I just put a little bit of tape here uh, just to show 
Do we have got rotation? Uh, I have a tray here because it's basically kicking out fluid uh, when it runs, uh, which you could expect again because we don't have the half shafts in there. So let's grab the throttle pedal and we'll give her some gas. So there we go. You can see we've got rotation on the half shafts. You can see the MG1 turning over there also. We can speed things up a bit. We're pumping out oil here at a rate of knots. That's spinning away there quite happily. That will be in the forward direction as well. Uh, so that's it. We have Gen 2 and Gen 3 transaxles uh, running from our basically the Hubner inverter uh, with the very simple and cheap resolver interface. So that's kind of what I've got for you guys today. Um, hope you've enjoyed. We will be back uh, soon with some more Prius stuff and lots of other projects that I'm working on, as you all know. Um, I would ask people to be just a little bit patient with me. Uh, there's been an awful lot going on over the past few months. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not exactly firing on all stator poles either. So um, just be patient with me, guys, and I'll get to everything. So that's it for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check links in the description for my Patreon and PayPal, should you wish to financially support any of this craziness. Can't really recommend it because then I'll just do more of it. And yeah, I mean, who wants that, right? So, also there'll be a link in the description to my GitHub where you can download any of the designs and so on uh, that I feature in this and other videos. And until then, uh, try not to do anything too crazy. And um, happy resolving